Hello everyone, welcome to the Horror Game Tutorials Part 7 Episode 5, I believe we're on now. Um, in this one it's going to be just a couple of quick hints and tips for setting up some trigger events for your jump scares. Um, now, if you've got your lamps set up, your lights, your doors, and you've got interactable objects, so let's just open up um, this light for example so if I go into my blueprint um, and let's move that over so I have a few things on here that I can call so I know that I've set these features here so if I go into my level and I add um, a oops wrong one open up my level blueprint and if I create a trigger box and we drag that into the scene so let's say we have that here and um, we go into I'll leave it as trigger box 2 so we're gonna go into our level blueprint and um, if you don't know where that is it's you click up here on list of blueprints, world blueprints, and then you go to level blueprint. So I'm going to right click and add a event for that trigger box that I just created. I'm going to go and add on actor begin overlap. Now on here we want it to be cast to first person. Um, if you're running a third person game with the camera overlooking the shoulder of the player, then you'd go cast to third person. And then we're going to connect, connect the other actor into object. And we're going to hit B, hold down B, and then left click to get a branch. You can do the same by right clicking and typing in branch. And then out of the, your cast two, you're going to drag that into the branch. And then we're going to use a, a cool little trick using branches for jump scares. So if you're in your level, highlight the object that you want the player to, well, you'd want the trigger box to respond to. And then if we go into our level blueprint and right click, we can get a reference to that lamp that I created. And then out of that, we can get a um, is on. And I'll show you what that is in a second. So if we go back into our the, the lamp BP, down here I have a variable named is on so if this lamp is turned on then that variable is set to true if this lamp is turned off then the variable is set to false so in the level blueprint where we just set up this cast to first person we can connect that into the branch now what we have there is control over a jump scare so if the player has turned the lamp on, then this can happen. So what we can do is, we only want it to happen once because a jump scare wouldn't be a jump scare if it happened every single time you went to the exact same spot. So we want to get a do once node. So out of here, we get a do once. And we want this one, not this one. So we want a do once. And what's going to happen is, when the player walks over, um, so we want actually that the other way around. Because uh, this will only trigger it once. Yeah, so like this. Um, so if the player walks, you've got two, two possible control points here. So... If the player walks over this trigger box and the light is turned on, then you can have it maybe play a sound at the location, like a jump scare. Or if the light isn't turned on, you can have it do something else. So this just gives you another way of controlling your scene, um, controlling how and when those jump scares can happen. Um, so if we go into the game, So here we have the lamp, and um, there's a point light in the scene just because I was doing some editing, but if the lamp 
it won't turn on because the breaker's off. But if the lamp is on and I walk over this trigger, which is here, then something can happen. If the lamp is off, it won't happen at all. So it's just a, a quick and easy way of controlling your jump scares. So we can have this code set up just for that scenario. And then out of false, you could have it do something else. Um, and now the do want should then set up like maybe a play sound at location and if you want that sound to be global you'll leave the location as zero 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 um, with nothing in the location value and then you can pick your sound that won't happen so that'll only happen then if the light is on and the player walks through um, I hope this video helps it's just a quick one because I've got a lot of busy stuff to do today I'm um, busy 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 so i'll try and get another one uploaded um but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one if you like this video like it if you want to help support the channel you can subscribe become a patron or do small donations over on the paypal but you don't have to if you don't want to no pressure but thanks very much for all the support and i'll see you again soon bye bye for now